GPIC 2021 will bring the private and public sectors together to break through market barriers and forge new partnerships in climate finance. It is only through innovative partnership that we will be able to overcome the climate challenge. And the importance of the partnership between the private and public sectors cannot be overstated. Because we see the planet uh, entering in a very difficult phase and, and every data is showing that we are off track. So this discussion might be one, if not the most important discussion to address and to solve. COVID-19 revealed the weaknesses of our economies and health systems, forcing us to re-examine our development models and to make them more resilient. We must learn the lessons of this pandemic and rebuild our society on a more sustainable, equitable and inclusive basis. It is not enough for governments and for the private sector each to operate separately anymore. We need to rewire or even short circuit the wires of international finance uh, if we are going to address our climate emergency. This is it's a crisis and we need to move fast and we need to move together. But I think we've understood well that it is good for the economy. Um, the more that you have sustainable options, uh, it becomes good business. And, and that is a, a self-awareness that has, I think, been crucial and, uh, and in, in the transformation. I think, I think we need to be looking big. We need to be thinking, you know, how does the GCF catalyze major private sector investment um, in these natural systems which, which can be productive. The climate challenge for us is multifaceted and the partners, the private sector, should be almost the most active partner to take the transformation forward. If we just look at traditional investing, we are not going to reach the 230 million people who are the hardest to reach on the planet. We need to recognize that, that in this moment of, of severe inequality, which is a part of the crisis, the climate conversation, we need to find ways to move capital to where it is most needed and not just to where it is safe. That a lot of the private sector, what they're paid to do is actually take risk. The question is, how do we lower that hurdle so that it becomes an attractive um, model, that it becomes an attractive project for, for the private sector to come in. Ease of doing business, regulatory enabling, you know, the ability to market the profitability, and those elements and educating some of it in their terms are central to the future of how we're going to get investment, uh, private sector and sustainable projects. And I would say the success really is in having a clear idea of something which is scalable, because if it's not scalable, then I think we always will have trouble, so to say, to bring in the private sector. You know that uh, strong institutional and uh, policy framework are critical uh, towards uh, identifying transformational uh, investment uh, opportunities. And what we do uh, in, in, in the financial system is to support uh, countries through their central bank, financial institutions, commercial banks, to develop uh, uh, not only uh, the banking regulatory systems, but also looking at uh, environmental and risk management frameworks. Then you need it, this transformation embedded in bank governance and strategy so that it's not one small green department 
alongside a whole lot of other non-green business as usual departments. It's something that is, in that essence, is top down. You're embedding this in the direction of the organization. Achieving uh, this, uh, it will require a strong alliance of all key actors alongside new disruptive uh, financing models. Without that, the Green Climate Fund represents the best ally to kick start this journey.